I am broke down in St. Louis, uh, man, again. What's the deal here? Uh, alternator just went out, but y'all might think that's a bad deal. I'm thinking I am pretty blessed. I'm pretty lucky. Turn uh, negatives into somehow positives and be grateful. Cowboy, you're going to love this. This I broke down right by an auto zone. And they had it in stock. And I have most all the tools with me. If you haven't done this before, you change your alternator on the side of the road. Good idea is find shelter because it's pouring on rain. So I'm under a bank awning on a Sunday. So I'd say that's better than anything. But first thing you need to do, disconnect your battery. Don't forget that. A lot of people forget that. What I have done is compared to the, uh, the old alternator. And it's looking like the new one is correct. But if you can, break down right by a uh, AutoZone. Borrowed from AutoZone, you rock. Thank you, Serpentine belt. Removal. Check this out. This has got an adapter. I'm gonna buy one of these. Cause this is freaking cool. This is way cool. I have fought this and fought this and fought this. This thing is freaking cool. I love cool tools. And I'm really, really, really trying to have a good attitude here. Trying is the key word. Oops, I dropped the tool. Let's try this again. <laughs> this could be so much worse. Could be dark. Could be snowing. Could be five below. But it's not. So I'm not gonna complain. Oh, that is so freaking awesome. Oh, love it. This baby will be out in a matter of minutes. AutoZone, got some Duralass, lifetime warranty. I just bought a new one, didn't mess around with the reman. Why does it seem like I'm so happy? This could have just been so much worse. Don't forget to fill out your warranty, keep it. I don't think you have to, I think they take care of it. Right down in there. We got that connector off, and then I've got that black little hoop, and then I got that connector right there. But you can't just rip them off, you gotta figure out what secures it. And I can see the secure tab now, so I'm gonna go take it off. Let me show you something. Here's another way that you could tell how it comes off due to the, the new alternator. Can you see that clip in the front there? A little piece that comes off the plastic? So that's what locks it or locates it. So since I can see the new one, I should know how to unlock it. Does that make sense? And on the back one, you can see that the retainer is on the back side. So another little clue for you for your roadside repair. And another thing I'm going to do is I got one bolt that's hard to get to. Get it out first. Then just get it out of the way so that it's not so hard to hold on to things. I can support it better and not feel like I'm going to drop it. Make sense? I'm teaching on a Sunday here. Probably should just change my alternator and get home. I dropped my bolt. You know, it sucks to be a mechanic. It's like every time you work on your own stuff, you don't have what you need. If I was at home, I'd have impacts and air tools, and I'd be tearing it up. But nope. St. Louis, Bank of America. Thank you, Bank of America, by the way.
Who doesn't have a knife? Before I get too crazy, I'm going to compare them again. Being able to do this yourself, it's not even so much that saving money, it's that I can get home. You know what I mean? Like, just think how many things we take for granted compared to, you know, back in the day when people went across this great country and they uh, had to be able to fix stuff. People had to fix their wagons. We, uh, we as a whole kind of get to take a lot for granted, you know what I mean? On the downhill slope now, folks. So I must be up to, I don't know, 10 cars I've gone through that drive through I don't know if you guys could see that in the camera. You know how many asked if I needed anything? None. surprising maybe not one person just say hey you need a hit in give me a whole light all right nothing nothing good what do you do this is normally my least favorite part I think with this tool I have a feeling this is going to be easy peasy. If you ever forget how your serpentine belt, there's usually a, a diagram on the hood here. Got it. Okay. Always, always, always. Can't stress this enough. Need to check my work. There's a couple of things I want to do. I want to get here with a flashlight. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. Look and make sure that belt is around all the pulleys. If I start this thing up and it's not on there, it could take that belt and just shred it. You know, or fly it off and while it's spinning it could get a tear in it, ruining it. So can't chance it. Alright, I'm looking good. I'm gonna hook up my battery. I'm gonna test that the alternator is actually working now. I'll show you how to do that. Pull out of the way. Right, I'm going to show you how to do this. Get yourself a little Harbor Freight meter. Yeah, I, I got them in every vehicle. They're like $3, they're free. There's almost a coupon in every motorcycle magazine. So you gotta have one of these all the time. Let's check this out. First thing I'm gonna do is you're gonna take your meter. And you're gonna set it on DC volts. Okay, you see that? It's 12 volt battery, so I'm gonna use the 20. Just got an on off switch. Got red lean, black lead, simple enough. Gonna hook it up. I'm just gonna see what the battery has. Battery right now is 12.4548. I'm gonna charge it. I can't trust the camera being here, so I gotta start it. I'm gonna do one other thing too. I'm going to, oh, check this out. That's what I always do. Leave the keys outside the vehicle. Don't ask me why I know that, but just saying, get in the habit. Maybe you bump a switch, It'd be a bad day. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna start it real quick, turn all the accessories off, and I'm going to shut it off right away. Now, why am I doing that? I'm doing that because I'm gonna check that belt again and make sure everything's good. So I'm making sure them all the way around those pulleys. I'm gonna go through, I'm not gonna be able to see us in camera, I'm gonna make sure that they're all all the way on there. Looking good, looking good, looking good, and looking good. Okay, 
Should be able to fully start it now. Now I had a light on my dash, thank goodness, which is what told me there was a problem. Check this out too. When you first turn the key on, see, all your lights should work, by the way. And then when you start it, the ones that aren't needed will go out. The battery light's gone, so that's good. But let's take it a step further, and we're going to test that battery. Hey, look at that. I got my alternator back. 14-some volts. It was 12 before. Let me show you something else. This is pretty cool. Another reason you need your Harbor Freight meter is that I was able to test this driving down the road. Here's your everyday power outlet, right, for your 12-volt uh, adapter. So one of these is negative and one's positive. And I'll show you here, you can actually test your charging system. There's a lug down the middle. You gotta put one on that and then one on the sidewall. 14, 4, 5, it's good. All right, I am gonna close up my hood and uh, get back on the road so I'll see you at class tomorrow. And I wanna go back in here and I need to thank AutoZone for loaning me that belt tool to get me uh, back together. So looking forward to getting back on the road. All right, I got it done. I got this thing changed out there under uh, the awning at the bank, but thanks for letting me borrow the tools. No problem. So Kevin, what's your name? Phil? Alex. Alex, what, Kent was it? Yeah. That was here earlier, he was awesome. Thanks for loaning me the tool. Made my life very easy. And, uh, AutoZone rocks, so thank you. Anyway, happy Easter everybody. Hope you're going very mind. I have class in the morning. Try and enjoy 16 hours in one day isn't going very well. And, uh, but it'll get better. I'll get back on the road. And I will see all you students tomorrow morning. I'm gonna be tired. <laughs> Bye, have a great Easter.